With that, we bid you adieu. What is up, everybody? It is Mario Romanelli back here in the lab, getting ready to jump on some college football 25. And yes, I'm going to jump back into the dynasty with Ball State. If you guys don't know, let me catch you up to speed real quick on the craziness of this season. Started out with a two-game losing streak, getting my ass handed to me every game. No sign of hope. Then I go on a four-game winning streak. Don't know how. Winning pretty good. Feeling pretty good. And now I'm right back in the dumps. Two-game losing streak and playing like crap. So we're going to light it back up again here. And we are going to now be facing uh, Miami of Ohio. And uh, I'm not feeling real confident about this one either, guys. i got to be honest. Uh, this is not anything that I really... Um, expected with this season like i knew it was going to be tough i got that but this has been so night and day that game to game now i don't even know what's going to happen like we're, we're literally i have no idea it, it could be a great game it could be a horrible game i could come out in the first quarter like i normally do dominate the whole first quarter and then after that the wheels fall off so you just never know what you're going to get when i'm playing with ball state now if you guys have checked out the game that i just played last night with michigan uh, of course, I'm doing another dynasty where I'm controlling Michigan. It was week two, playing Texas. Much different game, much different capabilities that you'll see if you watch that matchup. And it was a good game. But if you watch that, you're going to need to see that clearly there's something going on with Ball State. Like, they must just flat out really suck. Because even when I'm playing the crappy teams, they still suck. And so, I don't know. I can't figure it out. So what we're doing is we're just trying to get through this first season and see if I still have a job because the goal was I had to win four games. Okay, I won four games. Unfortunately, I didn't know that was going to be four games in a row and then I was going to go right back to losing. So that could have a whole different vibe um, on the AD on giving me my job for next season if I can't win another game this season. So the drama continues and as the world turns, well, we just... Hope for the best. So let's do what we always do. Let's go to the field and check this one out. Again, it's Miami of Ohio at Ball State. Miami of Ohio comes in with a record of five and three. Ball State coming in with a record of four and four. Let's do this. All right, here we go, guys. Uh, like always, I'll probably get the ball first. It just always seems to happen that way. Again, not sure why, but we'll see.
I really, really, really need a win here. Sure hope I can find one. Yep, I'm returning. I have to have that setting set on. From inside the ten, here he comes. Oh. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. So Ball State's offense will start this game off. These rivalry games can really get the blood pumping, and we'll see who can manage their emotions best early. Everyone's been waiting for this game, right? You know both of these teams have had this game circled all the way back to the beginning of the offseason, so you've got to be able to play under control. With passion with energy, with hatred, because it's a rivalry game, but keep your emotions in check and making sure I'm controlling what I can control. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Rides to the back. Finds his way ahead for three out to the 27-yard line. The biggest lie college football coaches tell is nameless, faceless opponent. David, game like this, you know their name and you know their face. Hey, you know them well, and it does mean just a little bit more because it's bragging rights. Like, the rivalries matter so much all throughout the year. Oh, he didn't catch it. About this game in particular, that's why it means more, and that's why these players will be jacked out of their minds. The Cardinals decide to punt it away. Three and out, and just like that, they'll have to give it up. So Miami, Ohio's offense will try to get something going with their first possession. Here are our impact Going to try and play very balanced here, not make stupid plays, not go for it on fourth downs, and, you know, I just really got to play it straight up and just see what happens here. I can't help them beat me by beating myself you know great tackle there two yard loss good sign so you get stuffed on first down and now you have the offensive coordinator thinking a little bit yeah we're probably going to have to throw it now in the second play but what are we going to see defensively now that they know we're throwing might they blitz good. us seven. more guys in the block there's a real cat and mouse game going on right now between these two coaches at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. To the air. It's Gabbert. He's brought the flag. Is that a hold? On the play. Let's see if it stands. Oh. Nothing to pass. Come on. You just can't hit the quarterback like that. That is a dumb play. And the defender got caught red handed. The offense will gladly take a fresh set of downs after the penalty. He'll do oh, it nice fake. Up the first down. And they'll finally wow. get down after a terrific pickup. I bet hard on that. One of the fastest quarterbacks Did not in college football. No, that's this quarterback is going to run like that. Idea. So that's now something I got to have in the back of my head. He has a chance to get down so that doesn't happen again. He is really difficult to tackle. Come on, get very off him. difficult to catch. As you saw in that last play, getting a first down. He will step out of bounds. But <laughs> I just cannot get over it. how different this team plays in Michigan. Like, this is just night and day. They move the tight end all over. I will not. Uh, or I should say, I couldn't be happier to be finishing the season and and just see what I can add as far as some, uh, hopefully some upgrades because I'm telling you right now, this team needs a lot, both sides of the ball. He's looking to throw. He it. And sure. He sure. Start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This I really don't know how I won the four games. I gotta be honest. It's like I don't know what happened there, but um yeah. That was just lucky, I guess. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. 
And the PAT makes sure. it 7-0. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they mm. finish it with an 11-yard touchdown All right. dart. The kickoff team out there Again. is ready to go. I just have to stay under control. I cannot go for, you know, fourth downs. I can't. Unless it's like a fourth and one and I can quarterback sneak it or something like that where I'm pretty sure I'm going to get it, then I'm sure, but I just got to play under control. And if I get whooped playing under control, then I guess I get whooped. But there's nothing worse than me beating myself by throwing interceptions or going for it on fourth down. You know, that's... That's even more frustrating. So we're just gonna play it as clean as we can here and see what happens. And I'm, if I gotta do that more, I'm gonna do that more. But that's clearly an option for this quarterback. Nice job by the QB sitting back in the pocket. You can tell he wants to throw the football, go through his progressions. Nothing home. Take off and slide. I love the slide in. Don't take a big shot. Man, that quarterback knew that was a tiny window to throw into, and he just showed off his Kyle Kelly arm. over a thousand yards on the season now. Kind of hard to believe. I gotta be honest with as bad as this and passing game's been this year. On first and ten. He leaves it with the back. Good. Good. Ran that the opposite way that it's designed to go, but uh, notice there was a hole. Actually, there's a hole again. So let's do it again. We're going to go right back to that left side. See if I can get this first down. Big hole. Big hole. There we go. Job by the offensive line. You're gonna run the ball right in the middle. You better play. control the play. You, can see you know what? I think it might have been this. I had a job. play that I had with Michigan that was really working. I want to see if I can mimic that with this team. They'll throw it on first down. And I think I can. I think I can. That could be huge. If that play works with Ball State like it did with Michigan, that adds a whole different dynamic to this team. And it just worked there. So that's a great sign. That is a great sign because, like I say, this quarterback absolutely can scramble. So it makes him a dual threat when he rolls that way. If that play's not open, I pull it down and run. If it is open, I throw it. So either way, I've got him. Um, so that that's interesting. This may have just turned this around a little bit. Oh, there we go. Got it. Oof. <laughs> Good stuff. All right, we got a tied game. I may have found a, a weapon with the offense. Now we get to the defense here. We got to make some changes. I'm going with a 4-4 defense. Have not ran that yet in this game. See if I get better results. Yes. Yes. I like that better, at least against the run. That looked pretty darn good. Linebackers in today's football, obviously, guys have gotten smaller. They got to play in space more, cover fast guys out on the perimeter. But how about this linebacker coming downhill and making a physical Damn it. Oh, make the tackle, guys. Oh, that's been the killer all season. They just cannot tackle worth a crap. See if they can turn this drive into points. They've got it first and ten at the fifty. What is that? Is that quarter already? Wow. That was quick. Don't quick at least. Alright, look at that. 9.4 yards per air, per play by both teams. Can see my offense is very balanced. I like that. Don't like the four. Uh, let's see. Wow, that's playing way deep. This might be a mistake. <laughs> Off the play fake on first down. 
unloads to the wideout. Did he catch that? Are you kidding me? Jeez. If you're going to run a comeback route, you've got to sell like you're going deep. And that was a great job there by the receiver, really making that corner think he was running deep down the field. So we got the corner to turn his hips, turn his shoulders, the and then the receiver was able to just pivot around to make it an easy pass and catch. He's going to pass. Got him. And the defense gets home. Yippee ki -yay at the 35. That's the big. That's big. And Second and 17 now. Really impressed by this pass rush. It's just guys winning their individual battles. Keontae battle. Newsome on coming through. Front. They're able to get to right the there. Point. Got off the block. And look, good things happen when you get off the block, guys. Uh, so we want to double tap. Really need to pick up some yardage this time on second and sack long. him again. Here we go. Off the play fake. Oh, he was going for him too. Quickly Good. Complete. Ran him right out of bounds. Maybe Third and twelve. Third and twelve. Let's go. Third and long from the thirty-yard line in this defense. Get a sack. Go get him again. Dropping back. Get that pressure. Ah, dang it! Wide open. Dang it. Tackle, but he has enough for the first down. Wow, and what a great job by that quarterback finding his open receiver on third down. You know, guys, one of the most telling stats at the end of the game is third down conversion percentage. If you're a great third down team, it's invaluable to your offensive success, and that's why teams drill third down so much in practice. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Looking to throw on second down. Oh, got him. Dang it. All right. Well, we might have a shootout then. I'm scared to blitz. I got to be honest. Like, I, I'm playing basically prevent defense because I have no faith that my secondary can hang with the receivers. I get beat deep. I, I give up big, you know, passing plays. I'd rather have them do these little passes like this. I mean, it's painful, but it's... They'll try to tack one it gives me more opportunities to hopefully make a play or get a, a turnover if I make them throw more um, than them getting and it in bunches. But I got to be honest, seven. like, right now, I, I'm scared to do any kind of a blitz. I just, no faith whatsoever. For one, you know, even when if I blitz, I can't get off the block, so it doesn't work anyways. Um, we're gonna come right out with that big play again and just just test it, just see. What a good for the heck of it. Keeping that defense off balance last time, David. And Reese, they don't know if it's run or if it's pass. They got them right where they want this. Oh, you gotta catch it though, dude. You gotta catch it. That was absolutely catchable. So that's on him. But he was open again, so there is something there. Keeping it on the ground with the running. Guys, you gotta block. They're not gonna block. There's not much I can do. Uh oh. Dang it. That's when the play doesn't work. I gotta have time. So here we go. Got a punt. The Cardinals line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. Miami, hmm. Ohio has it back. The Red Hawks offense heads to the field. David, they love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. They're going to do what I'm not comfortable doing. We're going to blitz and we're going to hope it works. Look at that. Cannot get off the block. Jeez. Jeez. Got him. Nice sack. Now that. He came clean. He came clean. Wow. 
Okay. Okay. We're burning it again. God dang it. And look at exactly what I was scared of. Exactly what I was scared of. Damn it. The defense brings him down. They say it's still a game of field position, and that last one just flipped this baby. They've got it first and ten in the red zone. Running to the left. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. That would be had a different story. He had something to say. Coming up, making a physical tackle. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and twelve. He's looking to throw. Flips it out to the back. Oh, come on, guys. Jeez. The Red Hawks are on the move. All right, second quarter, getting closer to the half. Offense is still having a lot of success, stringing some first downs together. Defense is going to need to figure something out before they get to halftime. He's looking to pass. Third sack of the day, but I can't take advantage of getting the sacks because they still just get 30 yards at a time when they need it. Because you give up yards in this day and age, you're going to give up yards. Who cares? This is the area we got to bow up. Nice job on first down stopping them. A couple more downs. You need a fumble. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long time. Nice. Knocked it down. It's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. Interception, guys. Interception. Interception. God dang it. Get off your fucking idiot. Sitting there hitting the button and it won't control the guy until he literally is right at him. Oh, and he missed it. Oh, thank God. All right. As ugly as that drive was, no harm, no foul. Got 54 seconds to go here. I might have an open play here. Go, baby. He's got an open man. And they'll pick up the first down and park it at the timeout, too. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Ready. The offense will put it in play from the 47 on first and 10. Back to throw. It's Kelly. Slings it downfield. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. They get him down with this offense to set up first and goal from the nine. And that big gainer on the last one has been threatening from inside the ten. Looking to throw. Oh, God. As he lets it go. Oh, oh, oh. He was trying to find his man for six. Oh, lower oh, man. Nine yard line. Offense. They are taking shots. You just saw a big explosive play on the previous one. And one time out left. Back to the line of scrimmage and they throw it in the end zone. They have got this defense on their heels. God, really, dude? You can't block better than that? What an idiot. Well, we know this defense is one that plays with a lot of pride, right? And part of that is their ability stopping the run. They're a top 25 unit in the nation when it comes to stopping the rush. And that really helps them out down here in the red zone. They're going to have to stop out. big time in this situation. Now what? We've got a timeout. Fourth and goal at the two. Maybe a chance to get off you know what? I need the points. So this one I'm going to go for. Fourth down. Trying to find a way on fourth and goal from the two. Trying to punch it in. Yes! And he'll find the end zone. Tied it up. Yeah, I love that 
this offense stuck to it. Stuck to the run game. Didn't panic. They got down, but they answered the bell right now. Now, if the field goal would have been a sure thing, I probably would have just kicked it. But knowing how the field goals are on this game, I was like, I got a better chance of running it in from the two yard line. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. Right down All right, the we're tied. They marched 79 yards on mm. the drive and finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. Don't want to kick it in the end zone. I'm going to waste the clock. From inside the 15, chance for a good return. Four seconds left. Nice job executing all, right. all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. So the offense has had enough. They'll take They're just going to kneel it. Up this first half. There we go. We're going to halftime. Tied up. 14-14. This is a game, guys. This is a game. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Phil is what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat out hatred that comes with a good old fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. An entertaining first half, and we've got a multi possession lead to break down thanks to the surgical precision of this offense. Might honestly take more time to talk about what didn't work than what did. The running game, the passing game, gadget plays have worked. Now it's just a matter of finishing the job. And the Cardinals will boot it away to start the second half. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Miami, Ohio offense returns to the field. First drive of the second half, always fun to watch. You see what type of tweaks were made at the half, especially when you're locked up in a ball game like this one. Yeah, thank you. It's been a good game. I mean, it's good, been good, a good. back and forth and, and a feeling out process. And now once you get in the second half, who's going to get aggressive, Palmer? Who's going to take some shots, try to make some plays, and really go for it? Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I think as play callers right now, you learn a lot about these coaching staffs with respect to who does oh. make the best adjustments. There's a lot of coaches that believe... All right, 36. Guys, stop him right here. Three now. Third and long from the 26. Looking to wide the open. Wide open downfield. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. And the Red Hawks getting set on first and ten. Looks as if the defense was a little too eager there. Got into the neutral zone, and that'll be a five-yard penalty. Encroachment. Defense. <laughs> Defense couldn't quite hold its water, and it'll be five free yards for the O. Okay, and the offense says, Thank you very much for the free five yards. First and five. Lasso, lasso, lasso. Scanning the field, it's Gabbard. Gets him on the ground at the 28, but not before a big 10 yard pickup. The Red Hawks are flying down the field. God dang it. Got the first down and still break his arm. <laughs> and a really nice one oh. and pick up there. Oh. The defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. Inside the 15, first and 10 from the 14. Wide receiver now comes in motion. The gift to the back. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Great job by the whole defense, but how about the little bitty defensive back throwing his face in the fan? I ain't scared. I don't just cover guys. There you go. He's dropped behind there you go. The scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Quick timeout by the defense here, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. A field goal here will put them on top, but a touchdown is what you want in a game like this. Third and long, you need to put get him. Him down yes. Oh, my bad. Yes. And the defensive line, you 
That was big. That was big. Now what? They missed a field goal earlier. Makes it here. But they give me an opening to take a lead here. Three forty-two to go in the third quarter. Trailing by three. I'm bringing this one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. He's got it out. Yes. He will score. Touchdown, That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's big. He was going with that one. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point is good, and it's a four point lead. Let's go to the studio right. now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? A bit of an under the radar game this week, guys, but take a look at this. Central Michigan needs to pick up the pace, but this puppy is far from over. And with this crowd there in Mount Wilson behind them, I'm kind of banking on a comeback. They're trailing by 10 to Bowling Green. Any big developments in this one, we've got you covered with the best studio team in the business, gentlemen. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. They'll go to the ground. Nice. He's knocked down in the back. Two yard loss. This has got to be disappointing if you're the offense, guys. You were expecting to have a lot of success running the ball, especially against this defense, which has struggled so much this season, but just nothing doing. They have not been good enough in the trenches so far. Getting some heat. Nice. No, put pressure on him there, too. All right. It was a knock free for a fumble. It'll be third down. They've already got a bunch of sacks on it today and another quarterback pressure. This offense has to try to find a way to get the ball out a little bit quicker to protect the quarterback. Pressure's on him. Oh, dang it. That's me. That's all on me. Completely ran right past him. Completely ran right past him. Had exactly what I needed and completely just ran right by him. Unbelievable. That's on me. I got excited. Then my guy was actually back there with him. They pick up an explosive play on a running back screen. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. We saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push. Nice. Let's go. He is knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Yeah, that's kind of surprising. We talked about this before the game. One of the big matchups. Run the football against a defense that's been susceptible against the run throughout the season. But this offense just can't find Get it. Get him. Come on. Surprise. For real? Now what's your counter punch? How are you gonna get the ground game going? Because so far is... not a lot of success. God. And the Red Hawks come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Easy. Roll it, roll it. They're gonna test that run defense to the right here. You know, so not much offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Need a turnover here, guys. To the air. It's Gabbard. Did he hold on to it? Of course he did. I won those, but he did. Jeez. We'll get the last playoff before. And here it is again. They fooled me three times with that stupid. Oh. All right. First 
trying to cap this drive with the pass. Oh, nice. I wish I would have intercepted it, but I'll take that. I'll take that. Well, I know that one fell incomplete, but what a day this guy's had throwing the football. Multiple touchdowns, and he's done a really nice job with his decision-making. Hasn't thrown any picks, which has really helped keep this offense on schedule. Oh, he got lit up. He got lit up. We're in that heat again. I've been playing prevent on fourth downs, and it hasn't been working, so you know what? Let's go for it. Oh, and he caught it. The defense used God, their second it. timeout of the half as they try to get their act together. What? I didn't call a timeout. The aggressive nature there by the offensive what? play caller, too. He's not just playing it safe, get a few yards. How did the ball. I did not call a timeout? He's trying to I'm down to one timeout now. Through the passing attack. Quarterback Woo! makes a nice throw, and now it's first and goal. A first down run in the red zone. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. The run up the middle, trying to pass nice. to the goal line. Forges ahead from one to the eight yard line. And this offense new coming into the game. When they get to the red zone, it's going to be tough sliding because it's hard to run, especially against this physical defense. They're one of the top five defenses stopping the run. And you know, at this area of the field, it's really tough. No, nope, out of bounds, out of bounds. So, are you serious? They're going to gonna try a field goal. I'll still have the lead. And they missed it again. Yes. Finally, the kicking affects the computer. Like it usually affects me. All right. I will take that all day. Guys, you got to block. Dang, you know, you hear all these stupid commentators. <laughs> me and Jesse talk about create balance. You know, run and pass. No. When you throw that good, spin the ball around. So the defense has to find a way to affect the quarterback on this drive. Because last drive, he had way too much time. <laughs> he kept those legs what? moving. Got three out to the 19. And ball security at this point is at a premium for this offense. You're backed up in your own end. You've got the lead. So you want to be able to run the football and stay on the field, bleed the clock. But you know the defense is going to be ripping away at it, right? They're going to be trying to get hats to the football and forcing a fumble. So whoever's got the uh -oh. ball got to have the hands on it this drive. He had the separation and then he did. Possession for this offense. You wanted to run the football, maybe take some time. You did the opposite. Got in a bad situation, threw the football, stopped the clock. Not how you manage a game late in the fourth quarter. He's not Guys, wrong. We'll see what this Red Hawks offense can get done this time. First play of the drive comes from the 38. Going to the running game. And how about the work up front by that big defensive line? The number one goal for this defense coming into this game was shut this running back down. And I got to be honest, there were a lot of people on the outside didn't think they could get it done, but they're proving everybody wrong. Tremendous effort. They're there we go. There we go. That's what I needed. That's what I needed. That is absolutely what I needed. Patience, guys. I told you. I just had to stay in myself. I could not start playing stupid. And then there are times I was definitely wanted to start playing stupid and gamble, but just stay the course. Good things will happen. I do feel like I'm starting to figure out a little bit of this team with some plays that are definitely working on defense now. My defense has looked a lot better. Obviously, the defense took advantage of it, but you got to put it behind you. Jesse, I'm sure you know a thing or two about throwing a pick six and, and how to rebound. I believe I've only thrown one in my life, but yes, I do because of that singular instance. I'll say this. You can't let that... Nice tackle. Place. You got to go out... Nice open field tackle. Play. Just execute the offense. Right. The back, no, 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 
Third and one. And he loses. He loses two yards. Fourth and three. They're going for it. Get him. Get him. Oh, shit. And they didn't. Knocked it away. All right, now we work the clock, guys. If I can get blocks. And I think if you're the head coach, defensively now, obviously, you've got three timeouts in your back pocket. You're trailing at this point, and the offense is going to be running the football, trying to bleed the clock. They're going to take as much time off the game clock as they can before snapping it. Damn you've right, got to start thinking about using some of those timeouts. The give to the back. And how about that play by that giant, that mountain of a man on the defensive front? Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. It's a makeable field goal from the 29-yard line. Let's see how aggressive they are on third and long. Wants to throw. It's Kelly. Quickly out. Nice play. And he'll be taken down nice play. Picked up a big first down. Two minute one in. Here we go. There and they just couldn't do it, and it's a fresh set of downs. Man, that hurts. When you're trailing late in the ball game, you need those stops, and you get them to third down. You get them to those critical points. Now they get to third down. You don't have many left. You better get aggressive. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. They'll try the run. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. Man, the Jets are not the blocking with a damn today, though. Back and save as much time as possible. Third and seven. A third and long coming up here. The snap sets up the throw. Got Still got that play. Still got that play. These third downs, man, they're crazy. That was money. When you have mobile quarterbacks, it's just so great to know that one, they can get it throwing it for your offense, but two, if it's not. And he'll take it in. Touchdown, Wall State. They push that lead out. A really good opportunity to get back in the win column. That's a nice I'm feeling good, guys. I'm feeling good now with this team. There's definitely some plays that are starting to spark interest with me. I've definitely noticed this team is not good at play actions. We just don't have the offensive line to have that kind of time to even make those work. And um, so I, I got to stay away from those. But this game, I have not been able to run the ball like I have earlier in the season when I was having success. So to be winning by this much without a running game is very uh, positive for me. A minute 44 to go. Down by 18. We're going to keep the pressure on. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Fires to the tight end. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Sprinting to the line to try to get this one off. Clock's running. Back to pass. It's uh oh. Kevin. Hit the quarterback the late. Dang it. A flag and the D might have been a little too Personal rough foul. on the quarterback Run there. The Defense. Dang it. Look, you want to make the quarterback I did. feel you. You want to get pressure in his face. <laughs> I did. That I admit that so when I saw close, it. Close, but just a tad late. So they'll get a fresh set of downs thanks to that roughing the passer penalty. It's first and ten. They get to him as he throws. Mm, he caught it. He's got it. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep him from getting the first down. Yeah, and he's been throwing it all over the yard, and he's now over 300 yards on the day. So been a successful day. Now, 300 yards... 
I don't know, Palmer, 300 nowadays, that's like what back in the day for you? <laughs> that would have been 500. I would have won the Heisman, maybe. It's a big deal today in college football, no doubt. But listen, he's in a rhythm right now. He's in a groove. We've seen good decision-making. He's been playing on time, and he's been deadly accurate throwing it. And guess what? This game is far from over. Here they come to try it again on second and ten from the 29. Cricket. He's looking to throw. This time on target. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. They'll try to get it through the air. Oh, yeah. Go, baby. Go, baby. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. He's at the 10. And it's going to be a pick six. Touchdown, Cardinal. The lead grows, and you can sense they know how important wins are this late here in week 11. This is a big win by a team that came in with a better record. This is big. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. 42 to 17. They're about to kick it away in the defense. I told you guys in the pregame, you never know what to expect with this team. I didn't see this coming. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. The Miami, Ohio offense returns to the field. It has been a rather forgettable day that's finally coming to a close, David. Yeah, it's been an awful day. I mean, just not, not functioning well on offense, defense giving up a lot of points. This is a day, Palmer, they'll like to forget. Yeah, you're going to find out a lot about their character right now. Obviously, not what they hoped this would be, and that's demoralizing for a lot of these kids that have worked really hard in practice all week. But at this point here, you're just trying to prove to your coaching staff that you're not going to quit. I'm just writing down the defense I'm using here because I don't want to forget it. This is, uh, completion this is working. Still sitting at their own 25 with second and 10. Dropping back, it's Gabbert. Fires to the wide out. Got it. It's caught Dang. downfield. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving. Send the, the dogs again. Down. Let's go. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Going up top Oof. on first down. <laughs> a strike downfield. And they get him out of bounds after an explosive run, just chewing up yardage along the way. The Red Hawks have it with a. When I got a lead like this, I will I will play aggressive defense. Inside the red zone, on target. Finally, run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. And on that last play, he's now over 400 yards passing. Well, Reese, if you're going to throw for over 400 bills, you got to spread the praise around. Up front, they've done an outstanding job protecting this quarterback, and his receivers have been winning one-on-one. -on -one. Yes. Fifth sack on the day. The defense puts the exclamation mm. point on the day. They have had a wonderful day, man. Doing everything great. Just you could tell they were dialed into what was going on and now just throw another sack in the equation hitting the quarterback being disruptive they've been all wow over. wide open a late game touchdown to all right six on the board. not worried about it like a thanks i feel very good from how this defense has played today hard. no shot they have no idea how to get in this quarterback's head he's on fire everything he's doing is working defensively we got to figure something out. We got to try to do something a little bit different. Bring more pressure. At this rate, shoot, he's on so much fire. You might as well just send everybody. Blitz everybody. Live with the results because everything else ain't working anyways. And there will be no return on this one as the ball bounds into the end zone. the game right here that's it and with the game all but decided this quarterback will take a knee there's a long it's a hell of a day history of great games between these two rivals and this chapter adds another to that legacy really impressed by the boys by the winning team as well here they weren't overhyped in this game they came out they were prepared they were calm definitely confident david they were able to go out and execute well enough to get this one 
and it's hard in these rivalry games with all the emotions running so deep. Like you sometimes get overzealous. The defense put two touchdowns on the board for this offense today, or for this team today. So, uh, big time play by the defense, plus five sacks. Very, very good defense. Did they give up a lot of yards? Yep. But they made a lot of plays too. So let's go to the stats here while I got the screen up. Put myself off here for a second. So if we look here, uh, 25 first downs by Miami. Wow, 10 for me. Rushing yards. 29 rushes, 14 yards for Miami. Talk about shutting down the run game. Awesome defense there. And then I had 19 carries for 68 yards and two touchdowns. But they really shut me down because that's been my my go-to. Every game that I've played was I always run well. And uh, in this one, not as good as I normally do. 3.6 yards per rush. Passing 26 of 37 for three touchdowns for Miami. And then six for 11 with one touchdown for Ball State. So, interesting, I, I would have thought I passed more, but uh, no, passing yards average, pretty much the same. You can see they pet through for 418 yards, and they picked up a lot of third downs too, 58% on third downs, I was only 33%. But the key here was that I did not go outside my, uh, my game plan. I knew I had to just stick, stick to it, don't do anything stupid. Don't go up for it on fourth downs. Actually punt the ball. I think I punted like three times. So, I mean, you just have to play it straight up and good things will happen. And that's what really happened was I was playing it straight up. And then all of a sudden it was, um, you know, it was, hey, it's, I got an interception, ran that back for a touchdown. That was huge. Big part of the game because then it extended my lead. They miss him field goals that was huge so I mean when you just let it play out you just never know what's going to happen in those situations and yeah they threw for a lot of yards against me but at the end of the day I outscored them and that's that's the only stat I care about at the end of the day is did I win or did I lose and uh it, was it completely pretty no not really but the defense did look a lot better and definitely made a lot more impact five sacks two interceptions two touchdowns I mean you can't ask for more than that from a defense so Ball State officially off the schneid for now. We are uh, back on the winning side of things and we'll just see how many more we can get before the end of the season and see if it's enough to fulfill my contract. Like I say, I kind of already fulfilled the contract, but uh, seeing that I got them in one lump sum, probably not really impressive. So we'll see how the rest of the season goes. But uh, that's going to do it for this stream, guys. Uh, I'm going to jump off this stream and start a new one for the next game, which will I've got you guys on. Let's find out who that's going to be against. And I want to see also while we're on here, uh, what is the standings looking like? We are heading to week 11. Jackson Weigold, Mac Defensive Player of the Week, five tackles. Okay, let's see, team schedule. Wow, we are down to three games left. So, looks like we're going to be playing Buffalo, who comes in with a record of three and six. We're going to Buffalo, New York, to play that game. The night game. So, yeah. I mean, that looks like a definitely winnable game. But you just never know with this team. And then you can see the next two games after that. Bowling Green with a record of five and four right now. That one will be at uh, in Indiana. 
and then you've got Ohio and that will be uh, on the road for me and they're also five and four so I mean yeah this is a, this one here in front of me I, I gotta walk out with a win on this one which if I can go to six and four with just two games left I mean that's interesting but now let's see the standings where am I at Currently in second place. Second place. So that's big because I believe Northern Illinois was a team that beat me. As a matter of fact, I know they did. I think they crushed me actually. To be honest about it, yeah, 52-21 they beat me. So even if we were to tie, they would own the that over the tie. So I gotta win out basically and hope that Northern Illinois. Uh, loses one or two games so all right so we'll be back here in a second uh we're gonna take a quick break and then we will be back with ball state heading to buffalo new york we'll be right back guys <laughs> 